Hey, what's up, guys? It's XX Model Warfare here, GamerTab Banjo Chicken, and welcome to a, another tutorial. So, another kind of computer tutorial here on how to set up a VPN. Now, it's not just going to be how to set up a VPN, okay? So, if you're just looking for a quick tutorial on setting up a VPN for the Xbox or for the PC, then this is probably not the tutorial for you. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to be doing sort of a full in depth tutorial on what the advantages of a VPN are and show you the differences and basically just show you what a VPN is, really. Because uh, recently I've been getting quite a few comments, PMs, and Skype messages of people wanting to know what a VPN is after I made my 5k subs um, discussion video. Um, and I was talking a bit about, well, I mentioned a VPN and how it can get past blocked sites and stuff like that. But people are wondering what a VPN is or, you know, why not just use a proxy or what's the difference. So a lot of um, people want to know about this. So I thought I'd make a tutorial on it. So first of all, yes, I am going to be showing you guys how to um, set up a VPN for the PC and the console, but mainly I'm going to be giving you examples and showing you guys how to, or basically showing you guys what a VPN is and how it can protect you online. So first of all, and I'm going to have to try and speak quickly, which I'm not used to, but I'm because this is going to, I've got a lot to kind of cram into one tutorial here. So first of all, um, when you're not connected to the VPN, your internet service provider can see pretty much everything you're doing on the internet. Um, it's all monitored automatically I'm pretty sure I mean well yeah obviously it is because it's loads of stuff but if you were committing any crime or something like that then they would look back at your internet history from everything that you've been accessing all your all the data packets and they'll see what you've been doing online um, a VPN can protect you from this and another thing that that allows the internet service provider to do is block websites from you. Not every country blocks websites. Most of them do have certain websites that are blocked, um, but particularly in the United Kingdom now. I'm not sure about the United States, but in the United Kingdom, they have started blocking quite a few websites that they don't want us to access, such as Solar Movie, free movie streaming and download site. Um, why was I able to access it just there? Is because I'm connected to a VPN. So just disconnect from the VPN. Okay, so when I'm not connected to the VPN and I go on Solar Movie, it gets blocked. If I try and access um, the Pirate Bay, um, it's blocked as well. So they've started blocking quite a lot of websites. That was just because I was connected to the VPN, I think. There we go, blocked again. And. Um, what else? Prime Wire, another movie streaming slash download site. It's blocked, 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 right? Um, so your internet service provider can do that, and you don't have freedom of the internet without a VPN nowadays, especially if you live in the United Kingdom or countries where they're block starting blocking websites. Um, you've got a real problem with this. So a VPN can obviously access blocked sites. You can do it with proxies and stuff as well, but another thing a VPN will do is protect you so that uh, the internet service provider cannot see what you're doing online at all. So they won't see anything that you try and access, anything that you're downloading, anything like that. Your internet service provider will not be able to um, see what you're doing online, basically. Um, you're completely protected in that sense. and. Also, another big thing VPNs do is mask your IP address. So if anybody tries to tr trace your IP back, um, dox you or anything like that, they will get the wrong IP address. They'll get the IP address of the virtual private network, uh, the server basically. They won't get your actual IP address. Um, therefore, if they try and trace you, they'll get the wrong information. And of course, if they try and DDoS you, they'll be DDoSing the server, which will probably have a ridiculously high download speed and won't be hit offline by a DDoS attack anyway. Or if it does get, um, or if there is a really powerful DDoS attack on some free VPNs, it might be able to bring the VPN down, but that won't bring your internet down. It will just disconnect you from the virtual private network. So you'll still be online or paid for VPNs or really popular VPNs have lots of DDoS protection added on and 
even the most powerful v, uh, DDoS attacks won't be able to bring them down anyway. So that is kind of the main reason people tend to get VPNs nowadays and particularly why people want to get their games consoles hooked up to a VPN so that they're protected on the consoles because obviously you get people on the Xbox um, capturing IP addresses and DDoSing people they don't like and stuff so VPN will protect you from that. So how to get a VPN? Well there are free VPNs, there are paid for VPNs as I just mentioned. So if I just type in best free VPNs, uh, press free VPNs. Uh, five great free VPN services. Let's see what we've got here. Hotspot Shield, that's one I've used in the past. Um, tends to only have a server in the United States free. I think the free version only allows you the United States one, uh, which can be a bit of a problem if you live in another country. That's one thing I have to mention. If you are going to get a VPN, go for one, especially if it's a free one and it only has one server go for one with the server that is based in the same country that you live in that way you'll get a good internet speed because it won't the server won't be that far away um, so if you live in the United States go for a United States VPN server and if you live in the United Kingdom go for a United Kingdom VPN server um, so here are another few free ones I haven't tried before um, so feel free to use any of these they all seem to be American servers but maybe they have other ones as well that you can connect to um, but basically just search for the best free VPNs in your country or there's paid for ones I have to admit I am on a paid for one at the moment because why not I mean it's to me it's not that expensive at all and it gives me I mean the one I'm on now is ten dollars a month that may seem quite excessive because you can get ones for like four dollars a month but this one's ten dollars a month it gives me about 78 different servers in different countries and there's about 20 or 30 servers all in the United States that seems to be the most popular country for VPN servers and loads of them are based in the States um, but it's also got lots of other ones dotted around in other countries there's four VPNs in the United Kingdom and there's two in the Netherlands and one in Egypt and bits there's VPN servers all over the place there's even one in China which never connect to if you live in the United Kingdom because you get like the ping is ridiculous but I'm keeping that one for COD online just in case so yeah there are free VPNs that are paid for VPNs so if you just search for the best VPNs instead of free VPNs um, IP Vanish, that's the one I'm on, which is pretty much right there at the top when you search in the best VPNs. But let's look at the best 15. So, all these different VPNs uh, gives you the prices $6 a month, $9.50 a month, $11 a month, $6 a month. They're pretty cheap anyway if you want to buy one. Um, and they're a lot better than the free ones, but there are free ones that you can get. Now, first of all, the free ones are um, usually only give you one server. Occasionally, it'll give you a few servers, but there are different types of protocols for VPNs. There's PPTP, L2TP, OpenVPN or OpenVPN, TCP, OpenVPN, UDP, or sometimes it's just classed as OpenVPN in general. Um, OpenVPN is a program, really, that runs on your computer um, to connect you. Now, it's supposed to be the best, but you may not be able to get games consoles connected because some OpenVPN connections just rely on the application itself and they don't create a network adapter. You need a network adapter to get it working with a console, games console, like a network adapter like this. See I've got one there, VPN. Oh, some open VPNs do not have this, they just got the application, there's no network adapter and therefore you can't really get a games console working unless you have a flash router. A flash router or a flash router 
<clears throat> people always, I always get comments on, on how I pronounce router. It's pronounced router in the United Kingdom. It's pronounced router, router, yeah, router in the United States. Whatever. Um, a flash router is a router that is basically allow well basically allows you to connect to a VPN network and that covers all the devices connected to your home network will all be protected by the VPN including games consoles but there's another way to get games consoles connected uh, through a VPN and in that case you need a VPN adapter an open VPN doesn't always give you an adapter some do some don't so in my one's case it doesn't give me an adapter so you're best connecting through PPTP or L2TP so some VPNs give you a program so say we wanted to go and download Hotspot Shield which is a free VPN and you downloaded this um, I think it does give you an adapter as well um, but it is open VPN so there'll be um, a little program that opens I mean I'm pretty sure it was in that picture we just so you'll get a little GUI program like this which you know you just click connect and it will connect uh, to the server other ones will just give you a server address like this and that's all they'll give you they'll just say PPTP that and you, it's just like okay what am I supposed to do with this well if it just gives you an address like this where you pay for a VPN or you I don't know register on a VPN site create an account and it says okay here's the VPN address and you're just like no program how am I supposed to connect well copy that address go to control panel your network connections network and sharing center and set up a new connection or network connect to a workplace use internet connection VPN paste the address in here then go next or rename it to what you want enter the username and password you registered on the VPN's website or wherever it was you registered put in your password remember password domains optional I'm not going to put it in a domain click connect and that'll set it up for you if providing all the information is correct which that should be for me so I'm just gonna wait and hope that it connects me you are connected there we go so there we go I've got access to VPN it's PPTP and because I'm connected to a VPN now solar movie is unblocked the pirate bay is unblocked prime wire unblocked you get the idea so all unblocked with a VPN so yeah anyway that's how you set up a VPN on the PC and as an example I need to show this I just have to because I have to um, this VPN connection is in the Netherlands or it should be and normally as I told you I live in the United Kingdom so normally if I trace my IP address it would say United Kingdom somewhere if I trace it now it says Amsterdam Netherlands so completely wrong so whenever somebody tries to trace your IP address uh, through Skype resolver when you're connected to a VPN or through a network protocol analyzer they will get that IP they'll get the IP address of the server they won't get your actual IP address therefore they'll get completely the wrong information when they try and look up your IP address or dox you or whatever it's, it's going to be completely incorrect information and it gets all confused like this city Amsterdam region New York US and how is that possible but it gets totally confused and therefore you can't really be traced and yeah basically you're protected so P 
people can't trace your IP address or DDoS you. And as for your internet service provider, they can't see anything you're doing while you're connected to the VPN. So as an example, if I open a network protocol analyzer like Wireshark, while I'm not connected to a VPN like just now, and I start a packet capture, um, and I go to a website that they would not like, so, okay, so what website? Hack forms or something like that. So just we'll go on hack forms, and they keep. I'm pretty sure they keep a log of what, everything you're doing online, all the packets and everything. But obviously they don't check through it all the time. But if you're downloading loads and loads of movies, they might eventually think, hmm, he's been downloading tons of movies. Let's send him a warning in the post that if he keeps doing it, his internet's going to get cut or whatever. Um, stuff like that can happen and they can look through all this packets and information and find out what you've been doing. This is all accessible to them. Um, so if I stop the packet capture and just do a quick filter for only this computer and we have a look down here near the bottom it should be. Alright so if we look on here we can see that there's a DNS query for hack forms and they can see that I've tried to access this website or I have accessed this website and if I tried to access the Pirate Bay even though it was blocked they could still tell that I was trying to access that site so yeah they can basically monitor and see everything you're doing online so let's see the difference when we're connected to a VPN and why it kind of protects us from this so if I just connect on PPTP, this is actually the least secure um, protocol for VPNs is PPTP. But even though it's the least secure, your ISP still can't see what you're doing. So if I connect to this one, and now we'll do another packet capture. And if I go back, refresh hack forms. just like that and we'll stop this and have a look and I'll be near the bottom when I try to access hack forums and we can see a lot of these um, PPPP comp or which is basically compressed data and all you can see is or all the internet service provider will be able to see there's no requests or anything for hack forms. They cannot tell what I've tried to look at on the internet. All they can see is that information has been passed from me to the server and from the server to me. That's all. They can just see traffic going back and forth from me to the service provider, but they can't see what I'm trying to access. So it's completely oblivious to them uh, what I'm trying to access. Now, like I said, PPP, the PPTP is the least secure. There's also L2TP and OpenVPN, um, and like I said, v uh, OpenVPN is supposed to be the most secure, but you need an application um, to do OpenVPN. So the VPN I'm on is IPVanish. So it's a Netherlands server I was connected to in Amsterdam. So let's connect to it on L2TP this time. You should be able to set up L2TP manually without the program, but I'm just doing it for quickness because it sets it up for you without having to do the whole manual setup thing. You can just do it quickly with the application. So now that I'm connected through a more secure one, L2TP, if I run another packet capture without scanning and refresh hack forms again, and we'll stop it there and if we have a look down again it's all information just going from me to the server and the server to me they can't see what's going on it's all encrypted this time protocol ESP which is something um, I can't remember something security protocol E 
being in the encapsul is it encap encapsulating security protocol or something like that. Um, I'm probably wrong about that. Hold on. ESP protocol means what? Oh, payload then. Enca encapsulating security payload. So it's all encrypted. They can't see anything that goes on. It's all encrypted. So, booyah. There you go. The internet service provider can't see anything. So you can access any website you want um, and they won't be able to see what you're doing. And there you go. So it just gives you privacy really and a lot of internet browsers especially Google Chrome log practically everything you do online but when you're connected to a VPN it doesn't matter because they're not gonna get anything I mean it's just gonna be the VPN that they're logging not you itself yourself so everything's protected which is great so quit without saving so that is a VPN really and I think something else I may have not mentioned is catch up television services like um, in the UK we've got BBC iPlayer, ITV Player, 4OD, 5 On Demand I think it's called um, basically internet catch up TV services um, so we pay a TV license in the United Kingdom so basically only people with a UK or people who are from the UK should be able to access the catch-up TV services and the way they tell if you're from the UK or not is simply by your IP address so if since I'm from the United Kingdom if I go on and I'm connected at the moment to the Netherlands server. Okay, so I should not have access to BBC iPlayer because it thinks I'm from the Netherlands. So it instantly puts me to radio because it can't take me to TV. All right, so on BBC iPlayer, let's say we wanted to watch the latest Doctor Who episode, the Christmas special, which may only be available to United Kingdom. I don't know if it was shown at in America maybe it was showed on BBC America or something so say I want to watch this I get this currently BBC iPlayer TV programs are available to play in the UK only but all BBC iPlayer radio programs are available to you why if you are in the UK and see this message please read this advice well basically it's telling from your IP address that you're you're in another country and therefore you're not allowed to watch this episode of Doctor Who because um, it's for people in the UK only. Um, so yeah, you can you can watch radio wherever you are in the world. That's okay, but TV programs, nah, -uh, only UK. So obviously, if you don't live in the United Kingdom, if you have a VPN like this with with a UK server, then all you have to do is go down find the United Kingdom ser list of servers uh, where are we? Do, do, do. I've gone past them there they are let's connect to this one because it's got the lowest ping so I'll just connect to the server in London and there we go I should now have a UK IP address I have anyway because I do live in the UK but just, let's just say I lived in the United States and I wanted to watch this then I would just go connect to a UK server, refresh, and there you go. I can play it, no problem. But I'll probably get done for copyright if I start playing that, so we'll just close that off. Um, so yeah, that's another thing a VPN can do. So lots of things. So the next thing, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to get it working with a console if you're not, if you don't have a flash router. And Flash Router, like I say, protects all the devices on your network by connecting to the VPN from the router itself. Most routers do not have this functionality, so you probably won't be able to do it that way. So the way to do it is get your games console and connect it to your computer with an Ethernet cable. So I'll, I'll find a diagram or something when I'm editing this video to show you, but I mean you know what I mean right you connect you have your console wired connection 
ethernet cable from your console to the computer and then you need a wireless connection on your computer it could be a laptop or whatever or a desktop with a wireless card or wireless adapter connecting to the internet so that's the way I have it I'm connected to the internet with my uh, wireless network connection and my local area connection which is my ethernet um, port in my computer is connected to my Xbox so what I do here is just it's already set up for the right DNS but if you're doing it for the first time just set these both to automatic and then on the VPN adapter this is why you need a VPN adapter so open VPN may not work if you don't have an adapter for it um, but if you do have an adapter then you should be okay just go to properties go over to sharing allow other network users to connect just click OK with this and select local area connection the Xbox one basically and it will say it will not save until you dial it again so basically you have to disconnect and then reconnect to it for it to allow you access and that's it basically now you just start up the console and it will be connected through the VPN so I'll just show you that I think we're still in the Netherlands sir. no we're not are we we're on the UK one now it should be London uh, yeah there we go London England right so I might go over to the Xbox if I have enough time because this tutorial has gone on for quite a while but I may go over to the Xbox and just show you it connected on the Xbox and show you the IP the Xbox is showing that it's the same one as the VPNs rather than my actual one. So on the Xbox I should have that IP address 81.171.97.29. Alright so as you can see I am connected, don't worry about the little service alert thing that's just because my nat types moderate and it's always moderate I've tried to fix it many times with every possible method but it never seems to work um, but I am connected and um, as you can see the IP address looks a bit weird because normally for my network it would be 192.168.0 point something but instead as you can see it's like 137.236 so kind of changes your local IP address as well but if we have a look at our actual what's it called if we actually have a look at our uh, where, where do I go to get into console settings yeah there we go system info there's the IP address 81.171.97.29 the VPN's IP address. So if anybody on the Xbox tries to get my IP address with Kane Enable or Lank or Comview, they will get that IP address, the IP address of the VPN, not my actual IP address. And if they try and boot me offline, nothing will happen because I'm on VPN. And if they try and trace my IP address, they'll get the wrong information. So there you go guys, that was a long tutorial but I didn't want to just do a basic quick setup tutorial for VPNs because that's done, that's been done loads of times, there's loads of tutorials for that so I wanted to kind of do a full explanation, um, full advantages of a VPN and show you um, all the different kind of things that it can do. So if you enjoyed the tutorial please remember to leave a like rating, uh, comment if you have any questions uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video yeah.